In today's mini lesson, we will be reviewing the terms we've been learning in this unit. So grab your math journal and turn to the next blank page so we can take some notes and draw a few pictures. First, let's date our page. For me, today is September 28th, 2020, but for you it might be different. I'm going to title today's notes Multiplication Words. The reason we are taking these notes today is so that we have these words in our notebook for reference. That means we can refer or go back to what these terms mean as reminders when we need them. The first term we are going to write down is factor. A factor is a number you multiply with another to get a product. Six is a factor of 18 because you can multiply six times three to get 18. Pause the video and copy down these notes into your math journal and then resume when you are ready. Notice the two factors are labeled in this image and the product is the answer. 4 times 5 is 20. 4 and 5 are the factors that make up 20 or the product. If you have not already, you may want to draw a picture of the two factors working hard in the factory to make the product or the answer of the multiplication problem. The product would be the final result, what comes out of the factory at the end. We have a total of four terms to write down today. The next term is factor pair. A factor pair are two numbers that multiply to make a product. Three and six are factor pairs, for, or, or are a factor pair, 418, because three times six is 18. Notice the factor rainbow at the bottom for finding the factors of 18. The factor pairs we have would be one and 18, two and nine, and then three and six. Remember, they can be reversed because of the commutative property of multiplication. You can make your factor rainbow as colorful as you want to make it on your page. Again, pause the video and copy down these notes into your math journal for reference. The next term is prime number. A prime number is where you can only make one rectangle because it only has two factors. <laughs> Seven is a prime number. It only, its only factors are one and seven. And you can see the number where you can only make one rectangle down below. So again, pause the video and copy down these notes into your math journal for reference. I'd give your Mr. Seven some googly eyes or something fun to remember that he is a prime number. And don't forget to show your two tile arrays for this, representing that there is simply no other way to create seven by multiplication except for seven and one or one and seven. Prime numbers are numbers or are a number that only has two factors, one in itself. Some other primes include two, three, and the number five. The last note we are taking today is composite number. A composite number is simply the opposite of a prime number. It is a number where you can make more than one rectangle because it has more than one factor pair. And when I'm saying rectangle, I mean tile array. And the rectangles are down below for you to draw as representatives of the arrays that show the factors of 12. 12 is a composite number. I put a princess crown on her because look at all the ways we can make up 12 through multiplication problems. We can do the factor pair of one times 12 is 12, two times six is 12, three times four is 12. There are three ways to make 12 out of multiplication problems, out of these factor pairs. And technically, there are six different tile arrays to make up 12 too. Take some time to draw these arrays in your notebook along with your notes for composite numbers. And pause the video to do this and then come back to join us. To review, a composite number is any whole number with more than two factor pairs, like 18, 24, and 35. To wrap up today's lesson, let's tackle this story problem together. It was written by one of you. Eddie wants to buy nine movie tickets. Each movie ticket costs $8 each. How much money does Eddie need to buy the movie tickets? Write an equation to solve, and we will share our answers in class together when I see you next time.